Hello folks, welcome to Motley Fool Canada's uh, video tutorial series. Uh, my name is Rob Crawledge, I'm the Director of Member Services and um, I realize many of you will be familiar with how to browse the internet, how to use an address bar and things like that. And so the three videos labeled basics will be ones that you could certainly skip if that's the case. However, uh, working in this role for uh, the last few years, I've run into many, many members, especially a lot of our seniors who are not as familiar with computers and therefore uh, the very basics would be very useful to help them get logged in. So right off the bat, I'm just going to start right here with a desktop. So you're looking at a desktop of a computer, you've maybe got some links on yours and um, you'll have some options. Uh, some of you may have only one like an Internet Explorer here, a link you can click to go to your internet. Uh, that's one browser. Another browser would be Mozilla Firefox. Um, the most popular one these days tends to be Google Chrome. That's what we're optimized for. And um, any of those uh, on, on a Mac, you would have Safari. Same idea. It's a browser that gets you to the internet, basically. So um, I'm going to use Google Chrome. I'm going to open it up here. And I come to a blank page first. And uh, I'll just go to a Google search page, which is probably the most familiar things for thing for most people. And um, here you've got a search bar. This is not where we're going to type, but I'm just going to show you. For instance, if you had started typing in here something like maple leaves, for instance, or uh, actually, let's go uh, even better example. If you had typed in Motley Fool Canada, you'd end up with a whole bunch of different links. And oddly, down here you'll see a bunch of things to do with the Motley Fool, but this would not get you to your website. And this tends to confuse a lot of folks I've run into over the years when I've tried to help them out here. So instead of using that search bar down there that was in the center, you would want to come up here. Now if you had some text in there already, this is an address bar up here. Different than a search bar, this is an address bar. When you put an exact address in, you will go to an exact web page. So if you would take your mouse, hover the pointer in this area here, you have two clickers, a left and a right on your mouse, and if you left click where the text is, it will all highlight in blue. When that happens, all you have to do is hit a backspace on your keyboard, and it will wipe everything out. It will be totally clear. At that point, you could type in www.fool.com. CA. You may or may not have all that other text that showed up up there. Uh, if you've never typed it before, you wouldn't. But if you tried typing any of these things before, you'd see this drop-down menu with all these choices. Don't click on any of those. You see your cursor still blinking there. That means that's where your mouse believes you are right now. So if you hit the Enter key on your keyboard at this point in time, that will take you to our free site, the Molly Fool Canada free site. Now, all you have to do from here is you, you've got the... Uh, free site here, all kinds of different links. If you've got a paid service with us though, you would come here, click on services, you would choose Stock Advisor Canada, you would left click that, and once you left, left click that, you come to the login page. Uh, mine has everything memorized, but yours may not yet, especially if this is the first time, so you would type in your username. If you ever have a problem with that, you can always email me at member support at fool, F -O -O -L, dot C-A, and ask me for help, and I can certainly reset the password for you. This password reset function is a little confusing, and I actually have a tutorial that explains that as well. Um, in any case, let me just type this in. And you've got your password, you put that in, you click login, and next thing you know, you will find yourself inside the paid site, and that's all there is to it. Okay. Now, worst case scenario, let's say something had wrong, gone wrong and you were back at the free site. I'm going to log back out of this for one second. I just want to review one little thing because, again, a thing that I've noticed that's happened to folks. Let's say you were back at this page here and you left clicked in here and it, went, it was all blue and then all of a sudden, oops, you accidentally clicked it again. Now you'd have two choices. You could just hit your backspace, go all the way back to the beginning and retype or you can just click your mouse anywhere else on the screen. Once you've done that, once you've clicked anywhere else on the screen, if you bring it back up here and you left click again, again it'll all turn blue and you can just hit the backspace and take care of it all in one. And again that would just be www.fool.ca, you'd hit enter and that would bring you back to the free site and then you've got your services and you would pick your service, whichever one you're a member of, you would have access to, you'd click that and that would take you to that login page. So that's a good full review of how to use your uh, address bar to get yourself logged in. That's lesson one, folks.